Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel and I am going to show you how I've set up this beautiful, pun intended, um, zip planner that I got from Michaels. I got it on sale for $11.99. The regular price is $29.99, so it is a very good deal. Uh, I had been wanting this ever since I saw the picture months ago and I finally got my hands on one. I don't plan on buying any more of these particular planners. But I did pick up the one that I've been wanting and I wanted to show you how I have it set up. I am currently using it right now and I will show you everything that's inside of it and how I've put everything together and why I'm using it that way. So you can get this exclusively at Michaels and Michaels, uh, michaelstores.com. I think it's michaelstores.com, I'm not sure. And it, it, it comes with inserts. I did not bring the inserts in here with me. Um, but I have switched the inserts out for the mini happy planner inserts, but I do have a couple of the inserts in here for, that come with this and you will see the size difference compared to the mini happy planner um, inserts because there is a sizable difference, not too much, but there is a difference and I have some other things added in here to make it mine and now the way it's set up is the way I am loving using it. And I think once you find a system that works for you, then you can be at peace with your planner. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to unzip it here. Now, one thing you need to know is that when you first get planners like this, whether it's a regular binder or a zip, it, it's not going to lay flat. It's something you have to train over use. So mine does not lay flat yet. Um, you know, I did bend it a little bit to make it lay flat but it's going it, since it's a zipper plan it's been the packaging and coming from the warehouse to the store and it's been sitting on the shelf it's going to take a little while and it's not something that is a con for me it's just something okay over time as i use it just like it was with the first recollections personals that came out so anyway we open this up right here and this zip pocket right here was the one that came out with the original um personal Recollections planners and so it does fit in here just fine. I have some change in here with some you know some cards that I don't use a lot But they're they I just have them on me There is a pin loop right here, and this is a pocket right here This is great if you want to carry cash in here if you want to have carry receipts if you want to put like a little booklet in here You can do that um, But yeah, there are two pockets in here just like that and so I turn this over and this pocket is sold separately it comes with four pockets I talked about these recently in a live stream and I only put one in here I figured I could use it if I need to carry receipts if I want to carry extra cash with me I do have that option it opens up like this and it looks like this on the inside I think these are gorgeous and I, these may work for travelers notebooks I'm not sure but if you do want to try them out $7.99 for four folders I think is an excellent deal and then we go into these right here. These are Happy Planner list pads. And what I did is I just cut off the arc punch and I punched it with the recollections punch and I cut off the top tab because it did kind of stick up. And since this planner does not come with any note pages and I didn't see any extra to buy. I saw like ones that are made specifically for like making lists or chores. I just wanted something that was blank and I can use it for whatever. Um, I just punched these and I thought these were good if I'm out and I need to write something down that needs to go into my planner or something that needs to go into my work planner. I have a bunch of papers that I can use and I just punched a, um, you know, a few of these in here and they're right in the front. And so those are right after the folder. And then this one, this insert right here comes with this planner. And basically what this is, is it has important dates that I need to remember. The Happy Planner inserts, or the Happy Plan, Mini Happy Planner, does not have a page like this in there, so I decided to keep this in there and remember important dates. And this is, right now it's just like any doctor's appointment, anniversaries and birthdays that are coming up that I want to remember so when I'm planning out my week or my month, I can just kind of take a glance at this and see what's going on. And here is the mini happy planner in here. And as you can see, the sizable difference. Um, these are taller, but the happy planner is wider. So you do have your pros and cons with both of these. I mean, if you don't need to write a ton, you can use these inserts. Um, but, you know, you get more writing space on this and everything. It's really a matter of personal preference on 
this planner. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. There are people who don't love it because they think the inserts are odd, awkwardly shaped and there are people who love it because they love the size of them. So I really think if you don't love the inserts, you can make it work like I have. Um, it's just a matter of personal preference and what you want to do to make it work. Now, I didn't do too much to make it work. I wasn't going to, you know, make this and, you know, I wasn't going to go all out and spend hours on making a planner work. That's just not my style. But I did just do a little bit to make it work. So this is the mini happy planner and this is the one with the cover. It's the black cover. It has the watercolor flowers on the outside and everything. Um, this is a dated one. All I did was cut off the arc punches. Um, and punched it with the recollections punch. And I'm glad I'm using this one now because it's dated. I don't have to remember the right dates down. And so I only have January through June in here. I only put six months at a time. I thought that was a good amount of time to, I mean, a good amount of months to put in here. Cause let's face it, we know Mambi is probably going to come out with new mini happy planners um, come like March or something. So this is just the front cover page right here. And we open it up, you know, and you get your two, you know, your two year at a glance. And then um, January goals right here. And if you notice right here, I did cut off the monthly tabs. When I first put this in here, I did not have the tabs cut off. But when you close it, you could feel the tabs. And at first it was not a problem, but then I realized that every time I would zip it, it would kind of get caught on the tab. So I did cut them off. I didn't glue them on at the top or anything. I didn't feel the need to do that because it's only the monthly tabs. It's not like it's keeping place of the week that I'm on. And I don't really look at the month that much. So it was not an issue for me to cut off the tabs. And I do just have a paper clip to show what week that I'm on anyway. So it wasn't a huge deal. So we go right here. And this is the monthly um, view in my mini happy planner. And as you can see, I don't have a ton of anything written down. I don't write a lot in my monthly. And I took, since this week was already filled out, I basically just took this week and from the undated mini happy planner and put it in here. And so I do have tip, you know, the actual um, spread in this planner is blank. But if I do need to write anything extra, I do have that extra space in there that I can write and I can easily take the undated ones from here if I need to add extra space, which normally I don't need to add any extra space in here, but it is they are there just in case I need to. And so that is that. And at the end of each month, what I've done, I'm gonna try to get to it. What I've done is I've added this page that is in the inserts for this planner. And it says looking back and it says looking ahead. And it says important dates. Remember, get it done. Since the mini happy planner does not have a page like this in the planner, I decided to keep these in here. So I do have, you know, February goals and notes, but it doesn't have anything as to look back at January. And so I can add what happened in January and important dates on here, what I need to remember and to get it done. And I can also add. So this is a little bit of a Franken planner. And as you can see, the size difference between the inserts. And I've just added that to the end of each month. That way I have it for each month when I'm done and getting ready to start. And there is a pen right here. I put two pens in here, um, two different pens in case um, I'm in the mood to use one or the other. And so let's put that um, back on the week that we are on, that paper clip so I don't forget it. And that is how I set this up. Um, right now, I am not using this as a wallet because there are no card slots. But I am in the process of looking at something where I can put like some clear card holders in here. That way I can use it as a wallet because right now I'm carrying a slim card holder which doesn't take up any space in my planner. Um, so I'm using two different things, which is okay. But I do wanna have my all-in-one system back where it's a planner and a wallet. But until then, that system is working for me for now. But I did just want to come on and show you how this works. And, you know, it has the two pins in here. I do want to show you how it zips up. It zips up just fine with the two pins. Or it's making a lie out of me right now. Um, 
but it does zip up pretty well um, with the two planners and I mean the two pins and I just want to come on and show you guys how I have it set up and maybe it can give you an idea if you didn't know how to use this planner you don't have to use it as is if something is not working for you you can do a little bit to make it work for you like I did with this planner so I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to me please subscribe and if there's any questions or comments leave them down below and if there's any video topics you would like to see leave them down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.